Hey guys, what's going on? So, somebody asked me about making a float uh, bed, and I thought I would uh, show you what I got, what my setup is. Um, so, basically it's just a wooden box. Um, you can use a tin tool. Um, these are 2 by 8s 8 foot by 4 foot It was just convenient to make it this size because of... You use a sheet of styrofoam underneath and they come in uh, four by eight sheets but you can make it any size you want or you can use a kiddie pool um, the styrofoam is important for the next step um, so you make the box you uh, cover it in plastic fill with water um, underneath here you can actually almost see it see the square right there um, I've got a water bed here that's really cold right now um, uh, the water bed heater's not on um, there's the plug for it there and the cord runs out there um and they're like 50 or 60 dollars i'll put a link in the uh, description for it um but i mean it's just a pool of water it's not really complicated here and then over here um see my board i've got about 12 inches sticking up above the uh two by eight and a piece of pvc or conduit can go in there and then from there, you're going to put clear plastic over top of it. The waterbed heater keeps everything warm. The clear plastic lets in UV rays and helps warm also. But the uh, waterbed heater makes sure it stays warm. Um, I have to put it up high so the goats stay out of it. But this is the float tray for reference. It's broken. Um, but yeah. Um, then you're going to fill that with dirt, put your seeds in it obviously um this setup right here with the 242s um is going to be a, almost 2,000 plants um 1800 plants or so so i mean this is way more compact than any greenhouse well i mean i guess you can get those cheap harbor freight greenhouses but this costs a lot less <laughs> i think um so uh waterbed heater was about 50 bucks, $60, something like that with shipping. Um, roll black plastic, about $8. And then the 2x8s were mostly scrap wood, or I found them in the 70% uh, off bin at Home Depot. But even if you add on 20 or $30 for that, um, I mean, you've got 68 um, 80 $90 or so in plastic, plus the clear plastic over top the top. And you have to have these uh, trays um, used. You can find these really cheap. I um, mean, buck fees or something. Um, new, they're two fifty and up. Um, Amazon, they're going to be like fifteen dollars or something. Um, but yeah, that's how I've got this one set up. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was educational. I know there's not a lot of uh, the build instructions on the box is not that complicated. Um, I'll probably put a photo in the cover or something but I mean the corners are just screwed together with a 2x4 in the corner here to make the corner and that it's just a box not complicated there at all and then from the bottom it could not be more simple try to make sure I cover everything and there's just nothing to talk about it's just a puddle of water but it is an all day uh, event and I still have to fill the seed trays and make sure you mark all the seed trays. At least the last thing you want is 2,000 plants that you don't know which one is what. But thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Click the Amazon link in the description. Blah, blah, blah. Thanks for watching, guys.